one scene where Jetta explodes? Of course you do, because it was awesome. We're gonna try to recreate that using Big Film's newest pack, the Apocalypse Pack. They have plenty of world-shattering effects that you can use in your next project. So let's hop it over to After Effects and see how we can do it ourselves. All right, we're in After Effects. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our footage. So this is just some stock footage of a desert. So we're just gonna drop that into a new comp. So first thing I'm gonna do is going to mask out the area that the explosion would be behind. So all of this stuff. So I'm gonna duplicate my footage and then I'm gonna mask around that. Okay, now we have a good mask of that little mountain in front of there. I'm just gonna feather it maybe like three pixels, maybe two. I do wanna recolor these shots a little bit. So I'm gonna add Lumetri color and then I'm gonna bring down the brightness of it just to, to match the scene a little bit better. Then I'm going to duplicate that and put it on the mountains in front as well. In Rogue One, there's like this, uh, an, a solar eclipse effect when, when the laser is coming down. And we actually have a solar eclipse already in our Astra pack. So we're gonna bring in our little solar eclipse on top of everything, just like that. And we're gonna scale it down. Ah, that seems about right. And now that I look at it, I'm gonna make these mountains a little bit darker. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do before we do anything is I'm going to change the aspect ratio to 2.35. Since this is 1920 by 1080, that is 817 height. So it's just a pixel ratio of 2.35, which is just the cinematic, you know, black bars on top of things. It's just better to do it now than wait. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's add that laser. So let's just quickly add a white solid to our project. Call it laser with a Z. Then we'll turn it off the visibility real quick and we're going to mask in a animation here. So I'm making like a little triangle to make it seem like it's getting a little bit bigger. And we have ourselves a little laser here coming down. So let's take it and let's animate its path to be more laser-like. So let's uh, add a little uh, keyframe for the mask path. And then let's go to the very beginning. We're gonna take these points and then move them up. Maybe scale them down. Play this forward and see how it looks. Yeah, that looks good to me. So then let's just add uh, some motion blur and that will make it look a little bit better. Now to make this more laser-like, we can duplicate this layer, add some feathering, and then on this bottom one, let's add a fill, and that fill can be green, which is the laser color of Death Stars, everybody knows that. And let's uh, set that to an add transform, if we toggle the switches and modes to add, and then that will be brighter, and maybe throw it over top of the white, and then even make this a little bit more feathered on the bottom here to add more laser leanness. Yeah, and then that looks, that's looking like a laser to me. Let's uh, let's fade it away after it hits to it. So it's like, and it fades away. So just animating the opacity. All right, now let's get to the fun stuff. Let's start adding explosions. So in our nuclear explosion pack, we're gonna use a couple things here. We're gonna use like three different explosions just to make this effect. So let's first add explosion number two. We're gonna scale it down and make sure it's below our little mask we did. So line it up roughly to where it would be. And let's put it in front of the lasers. So, oh my goodness. Look how cool that looks. Let's add this little explosion, explosion nine. Let's just do it. Let's add explosion nine. No, let's add explosion six. Let's add explosion six to the foreground. Just place it somewhere nice here. Let's place it. This is just the fun part of it. It's it's going in and just adding as many elements as you can and making them fit. That's the fun part. It's like Legos of the explosion world. Because in the original, it's just a big explosion. So it doesn't matter if it looks super accurate because nobody really knows how a big planet explodes. And if you do know, I'm sorry that your planet exploded. <laughs> so let's add nuclear dust three to this and let's make it fairly big. So it's just like really encompassing this whole situation here. Just make it like a big explosion. Boom, oh my goodness. Okay, now once you got all your elements in generally the right placement that you want it, the key to this is adding your flares and your glows and everything to tie it all together. So let's start doing that. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add a white solid, or sorry, I'm going to add a solid that's orange. 
and we're just gonna call it orange solid. We're going to set a mask, a circular mask, around the area of the explosion, so just around here. We're going to feather the crap out of this, and we're going to set this to add. And we're going to animate its expansion. So if you hit double M, you can go to your mask expansion. So what we're gonna do is gonna have this turn on right when that explosion happens, and we're gonna have it expand it out pretty big. So right when this explosion happens, we're gonna turn this on and we're going to animate its expansion to be a lot bigger. And then as it goes down, we'll bring that expansion down. Now, it might be a little bit too intense, so we're gonna bring that opacity down. And already, just with the added that, it looks much better from that to that. That looks much better. One other element that I did add was a dust wave to camera, which was this big dust wave here. So I'm gonna add that to make it seem like it's a bigger explosion. So we're gonna put that here. We're gonna scale it down. Uh, for this particular one, we're going to make sure that the dust is colored correctly. So we're going to add another Lumetri color effect. And then we're just going to lower the exposure and just sort of as best as we can match it to the scene. Now, uh, to make this look even better, let's add a adjustment layer over top of everything. And let's add a glow effect. And let's set the color B to orange. And make sure you are changing this to A and B colors, the glow colors. And then we're going to up the radius to about 800 and we're going to bring down the intensity just a bit and that's just going to add this nice glow effect over everything and it's going to look pretty nice now uh, a little touch is if you add the effect noise hls auto um, and set the lightness to something like two if we go in, it actually adds film grain over everything. All right, now the last thing, I'm gonna pre-compose everything. I'm going to scale this up slightly and I'm gonna do a trick when the hit happens. I'm going to animate the position and I'm gonna go a few frames down, move it a little bit weird. So I'm just using my, my little uh, arrow keys on my computer stick, computer stick, computer keyboard. <laughs> and I'm just moving it around in random ways. Like the camera is shaking because this is a big explosion. It would shake the camera around. So add some motion blur and you got yourself a Jetta explosion really fast and quick. For the second shot, we actually filmed some plates with uh, our best <laughs> Krennic costume, which is just shorts, a chef's outfit and a very cheap cape, but it looks fine on camera. <laughs> so let's uh, grab this footage and throw it into a new comp. Now we're going to try to be recreating this frame here, but the first thing we're going to do is key out our person using key light. So I'm first going to mask around everything and I'm going to add key light. I'm going to switch over to screen mat and just check the key. I'm going to uh, mess with the clip white and clip black. Then I'm gonna switch to intermediate result because that is better than final result. And I'm gonna add key cleaner and that just softens up the edges just a hair. And let's add advanced spill suppressor as well. So in the footage, there's like this little border thing. So we're just gonna use some solids and recreate that. So I just went in and I just made a basic solid that has a little border with a gradient ramp to this one to add like a little bit of an edge here. Let's place our guy in the general position. Let's add in our stock footage of an aerial plate. Let's use Lumetri color again to bring that exposure down. And let's add a Lumetri color effect to our Krennic and just sort of drop the curves, make them darker. I'm going to add a camera lens blur to our uh, windows and I'm gonna copy that lens blur to this guy just to add some separation between the foreground and the background. So we have a bunch of aerial shockwave effects that are really, really nice. So we're gonna bring in aerial shockwave angle one, put that above our layer here. Then we have this one here. We're gonna throw that over top of that one, scale it down, place it. Again, it's like Legos. Just place it 
the way you think it should look. And let's add ourselves uh, another aerial shockwave. I like this one because it has a really good orange explosion. For this one, the angle isn't entirely right, but we can cheat it slightly. If we make this a 3D layer by hitting that little cube there, we'll rotate it on the X axis just to fit a little bit better. For this bottom one, I think I want to add a drop shadow effect. Now, if we add a little bit more distance and a little bit more softness, it will just add a subtle little shadow here. So it's just another case of adding glows. Honestly, let's just go to our previous comment and just duplicate that glow effect and place it over top of this one. Maybe mess with it to fit a little bit better. Now let's add over everything, let's add a black solid. If you hit Control Y or Command Y, you can add a solid. So let's just add a black solid over top of everything. Go to your circular ellipse tool and double click on it to make a circle. Hit Subtract and then hit F for Feather and Feather that out to about 500% and lower its opacity just to add a nice vignetting so everyone's looking at the right thing then you have a pretty nice explosion effect pretty quickly the key to this is just trying to add glows and stuff like that to mix all of them together to make it feel nice and real then you can add some color grading using Lumetri over top of everything. Make it all feel tied together. Let us know down below if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Do all those things that you want to do. Thank you for watching and have a good day, everyone.